I used to be a lawyer um, and the fact that uh, necessity dictated um, the fact that I needed to do something is how I got into the industry. I was 28, 29 years old. My father refused to financially support me any further when I decided to go and do my articles. So I had to do something part-time. I started doing flowers and got into the wedding industry via the back door. So that is how we started 25, 27 years ago. What we like to do is to give a turnkey solution, ideally with fresh, innovative, creative, original concepts. If you want something unique that is particular to you as an individual, then we are the right address to come to. We can offer other creative inputs, do the flowers, the creative visual of your wedding. Whatever the client's needs are, we accommodate gladly. I think the clients that appeal to me most are clients that really come to you knowing what they want. I think that is always a bonus if clients know what they want instead of like, I don't know, I don't know, because if you don't know, I'm most definitely not going to know. But foremost, the most attractive quality about any potential client is somebody who has the grace to understand that you know better and that is flexible and is pliable and open to new ideas and conviction as to what will work best. So it's about taking somebody's mindset or their, their dream of their day and expanding it exponentially with their sort of permission. That allows for an interesting client. We've done some great work in the past. We've had the good fortune of working in Scotland, in New York, in Paris, Provence, in Zurich, in one or two little towns in the Alps for the Department of Trade and Industry. We've had the fortune of dressing people like Prince Charles, uh, Richard Branson from Virgin Active. Uh, we've had to do with various other royalties all over the continent. Um, some beautiful trust fund families across the world. So yeah, we've really been privileged in the past having worked for some of the world's elite. I believe there's a very big misconception that brides and grooms should be doing weddings by themselves. So the analogy that I always use in my business is if I were to go and have a heart attack right now and I needed cardiovascular surgery, I wouldn't know where to start. I wouldn't know who the experts are, who the best doctors and diagnostics are, how the procedures work, what the recovery episode would be, what my recovery time would be, exactly the same principle to wedding planning. I think the misconception is that wedding coordinators or wedding planners cost a fortune, but actually somebody that has a certain sense of ingenuity and that knows what they are doing can actually save a couple a tremendous amount of money and at the same time a tremendous amount of value with regards to originality, creativity and interesting ideas. So it's actually unfortunate that that misconception is standing in the marketplace as we know it right now.